Good morning, good afternoon, good evening all over the world. Dobson 777A here. All right, we're on fire now. Gold 1.3%, silver 7.22, platinum 4.16. I want to remind you, I never said don't buy silver. I just said 80% gold, 20% silver. And there's a reason, and I keep showing it over and over, but some people are like, hey, you told us never buy. No, I never said that. And I've showed you my portfolio. I got 20% silver. And there's a reason because you, you're getting a little bit of uh, what happens with silver, but you're protecting yourself because it just underperforms most of the time. And so you don't want to have a lot of money in there. So don't forget that. I never said don't buy silver. Now here's what it looked like today. This is an amazing uh, chart again. All the way up to uh, 1841 right now, and silver was 2126, so a pretty good jump today. When we look at the chart, and this is the reason why I tell you to be real careful with buying too much silver, because here we go over a longer period of time, and you can see that uh, silver just does not um, do well except for a very short spike. It'll, it'll potentially catch up and overshoot, and then you got to get out. You got to, you got to sell all the way up on this spike here because you don't know when it's going to turn over, and you don't have much of an opportunity, and next thing you know, you're holding $50 silver again. That's kind of what happens. I posted this chart again today. I update it every once in a while, so this was updated today. And uh, you can see over a six-month period, silver is trying to catch up, but it's still behind. One-year period it's uh, behind. Over five year period, it's behind. 10 year period, it's behind. Um, back to 2000, so now we're about uh, 20 years. You can see it's behind. 1990, 30 years, it's behind. It goes on and on and on. It just, uh, silver just does not keep up with gold and so it's much easier just to buy gold and hold on to it. Get a little bit of silver if you wanna speculate, but it's just uh, a better, uh, I mean, it's denser, it's easier to transport, it has all the benefits that uh, silver doesn't, so just keep that in mind. Now, I haven't uh, shown this in a while, but uh, this is going back to like uh, September in 2018 when this bull market kind of started, and you can see that um, silver's at 50%, gold is at 54%, uh, large silver miners is at 91% and large gold miners is 132%. So here's another thing that I've always said, same thing, do 80% gold miners, 20% silver miners for the same reasons, because you can see the large silver miners underperform the large gold miners. Just like gold always typically outperforms silver, except for very short periods of time. So this shows it very well, but now you're looking, you're starting to see separation. This is approaching three times, um, you know, gold. And silver is approaching two times, uh, large silver miners approaching two times silver. So we're starting to see some separation. It's doing very well. Now today, the stock market uh, in the U.S. really didn't do much. Again, NASDAQ dropped about 1%, but the rest of it was uh, pretty much even. Mexico was up 1%, Chile was down 1%. Not much going on over here in uh, Eurozone, France, Germany. You come over here, look at Asia Pacific. Dogs are getting feisty behind me. So Asia Pacific, we saw Australia was up two and a half, Hong Kong 2.33, New Zealand 2.33. Our ETF representation of our physicals, uh, gold was up 1.21, platinum 3.34, and silver 6.15. So silver is uh, within, uh, let's see, about 3% uh, or so of catching uh, gold for the year. Platinum is still underperforming. It's uh, down 8%. Our ETF miner portfolio was up 2% today. And it, uh, it looks like we had the winner today was large silver miners. And then uh, junior silver miners after that, and then explorers gold and junior gold. But it's up 36% for the year. And it looks like we have still large gold miners are winning, and uh, Silje is uh, like way behind everybody, like half, half the return.
Now, uh, Zero Hedge has been showing this chart the last couple days. We're really seeing the dollar uh, struggling here since May. It has really come down quite a bit. So that's some of what we're seeing with our precious metals, uh, why it's performing so well. So keep that in mind. Uh, we're, we're seeing kind of like the inverse relationship here for the dollar. It t uh, takes more dollars to buy the physical metals right now because it's uh, losing value. Here's a similar chart to what I showed before where looking back since uh, like around 2006, you can see that silver only had this one little spike where it uh, exceeded gold slightly. But you can see gold has just held up so much better where silver collapsed. So right now, you know, silver is just, I think it uh, has passed the 2016 level, but truthfully it's back all the way here to 2008 prices where gold is near all time highs. So just keep that in mind. I mean, silver just has a long ways to go. So every once in a while they have a really good article, 50 things you should get right now to prepare for the chaotic events of the next 12 months. Again, I don't think, I mean, my wife does not understand what's coming. This is going to be a survival event because of how we are going through a reset and you've got the pandemic and all kinds of other things happening and this is just going to be hammered on us one thing after another forever. But you know, it talks about, you know, getting a generator, water filters, rainwater collection, medical kits. I've shown you these things, rice, pasta, canned soup, all this stuff. This is this is actually a pretty decent thing because you can't guarantee you're going to have power and everything. So you need to get all of these things to be prepared for what's coming because this is, I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna lose a lot of people, folks, because they're living on the edge. They're living paycheck to paycheck. They don't know that what's coming is gonna be catastrophic for most people. And the government's broke. But you might wanna take a look at this article because I think uh, this, I love seeing lists. I love to see lists where people can go work on trying to acquire what they need and and just plan on plan on the worst and hope for the best that's the way it works so uh that's that's it for today's show i hope everybody's treating you well i hope you're doing well do the best you can god bless <laughs>